Don Carter with the Rebanking Studies Institute here, and I'm very glad to be back on campus after having been a student here before. And I thank Kristen for inviting me to be on the CE faculty. I'm looking forward to whatever that means when the time comes. Rebanking Cities Institute is, is one of the newer groups up here. Uh, officially started in 2009, uh, but its, it's uh, original genesis was in a conference in 1988 called the Remaking Cities Conference. It was held in Pittsburgh. Uh, it was chaired by David Lewis. And my directorship is named after David Lewis, and he's also my mentor, teacher, and ex-partner. And it brought together people from all over the world who were dealing with post-industrial cities, the Ruhr Valley, parts of Japan, where industry was leading. And the idea was to share information on what things might happen. Um, Prince Charles was the uh, honorary chair and gave the keynote address of that because of the whole area of Birmingham, England, and Manchester, and, and Liverpool. Those places were also declining. Uh, not very much happened after that in terms of Remaking Cities Institute, but David continued to be here and ran something called the Urban Laboratory that involves fifth-year undergraduate students in the architecture department to work in the community. About the year 2000, David and I started talking about the idea of an institute here. And there was a faculty member here at Heinz College, Heinz School at that time, named Richard Floyd, who was doing research that was turned into a book called The Rise of the Creative Class. And this was before the book was published. And so we started thinking about an institute and what it might be to combine the ideas of the new economy, which Richard was studying, and, and all the quality of life issues versus what's happening uh, in a lot of these cities where they're losing population and growth. And finally, we, uh, we had an International Board of Advisors set up in 2006. Um, last year, the Heinz Endowments uh, uh, gave a grant that allowed the chair that I sit in to be endowed and also to uh, uh, do a minority student recruitment uh, program that we're working on. Uh, the Remaking Cities Institute has three missions. Someone else has three missions. You did. How about that? The magic number. Uh, uh, education and urbanism is very important. So we have the fifth year program, the undergraduates, urban lab. We have a master of urban design program that is also has an international focus as well as a regional focus. And we have an urban design build program here where students actually get out. This year they get in Wilkinsburg and actually build a project as part of the design project. A second uh, emphasis is research. And uh, Christian and I have been talking already about doing some joint projects here. A lot of what we're talking about will be interdisciplinary across the campus. We're meeting with the Steinbrenner Institute, the Brownfields Institute, Entertainment Technology Center down the river and the School of Design as well as the School of Architecture. And we're very involved in looking at um, research around economic development, urban design, groundfield reclamation. And our teach we're teaching our students as well interdisciplinary work. And they're engaging in other uh, disciplines as they learn their, their research. And the third thing we are involved in is regional engagement. The Urban Laboratory has now worked in 20 communities. Students have actually done community planning processes. And they're, right now they're doing two projects, one in Homewood in the eastern side of the city and one in the cultural district downtown. And they do a full process over a semester engage community, come up with alternatives, and, and develop a final report. And we've been doing that now for about 18 years. And we're going to continue to do that throughout the, the, uh, the institute. Uh, right now, one of our primary interests is in what people are calling right-sized cities. For a while, it was known as shrinking cities, which is kind of very pejorative in my view. Uh, it's kind of like the difference between saying we're in the Rust Belt and some other people are in the Sun Belt. And I've been fighting those terms for a long time because that was in the 1960s when they started using those terms. I feel that we, in the Midwest here, uh, are in the water belt. And uh, the, the rest of the country, the sun belt, is in the drought belt. <laughs> or a thing that's recently emerged called sand cities. You know, like Las Vegas, Phoenix, San Diego, they're all kind of desert places. So we're looking at the issue of, of these right-sizing cities. Pittsburgh is an example of a city that's lost population. 
Uh, so is Cleveland, so is Detroit, so is Youngstown, Weirton, Evansville, Indiana, Frankfort, Kentucky, you can name them, Buffalo, New York. And it's a very important part of what we're going to be doing in the next year or two at Remaking Cities Institute. And one of the aspects of that is vacant land. I mean, the prairie grass is coming back in Detroit, and there are aspects of it everywhere. What do we do with that vacant land? What productive uses can we put it to? Can we put it into public space and parks? That would be one use. Can we bring back nature, uncover streams, bring, bring the biodiversity back into cities? Do we do urban agriculture? Do we redensify some neighborhoods and allow other neighborhoods to be maybe gone? It's hard to know what it is. So we're going to be researching best practices in that and doing that kind of study. And what we're, we're finding is that we're not the only people thinking about it. Richard Floyd is now at the University of Toronto, and he's looking at the whole Great Lakes region from Montreal to Chicago on the Canada side. The Brookings Institution is looking with other groups on the Great Lakes from Buffalo to Chicago on, the, on this side. And we're considered in the Great Lake region here as well as the Midwest. So I'm beginning to make these connections between these bigger organizations. So on one hand, we're going to do a study here in, in southwestern Pennsylvania on several industrial towns in the Mon Valley and the Ohio Valley, but we can see the bigger picture. You can go up to the next level, which is our bigger region. There's a regional planning visioning process going on called Power of 32 that's going to involve the four states that we're around. And we're, we hope to engage in that. And then going to the bigger level, which of course is the Great Lakes region. But whatever we do here at the, at the minor level down at the neighborhood of, say, Homestead, it's replicable around the world. And so our goal always has been to think about what we're doing here at Pittsburgh is a great laboratory. We've transformed the city at least three times in my lifetime. So how do we make these lessons known for other people? And we feel that Remaking Cities Institute uh, is going to have that focus for at least the next couple of years.